Tonight we're going to do a quick review on the rules we came up with in class today for multiplying and dividing integers. Our objective is I can multiply and divide signed numbers. So hopefully by the end of tonight you'll have solidified and become very comfortable multiplying dividing signed numbers. First let's review the rules we came up with in class today. These rules are very different from adding and subtracting and so you have to keep them straight. You always think about what operation is going on between the two numbers, then you fall back on your rules. So as soon as you determine multiplying or dividing is what's happening between the two numbers, these are the rules to follow. When the signs are the same, the answer will be positive. So a positive times a positive is a positive. A positive divided by a positive is a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Also, when the signs are different, the answer will be negative. So a positive times a negative is a negative. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. A negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So these are the rules you need to remember when multiplying and dividing integers. Also, if there's more than two numbers that we are multiplying or dividing, remember to just work with two numbers at a time. Let's take a look at some examples for you to try out. First example I want you to try is negative 8 times 3. So pause the video, come up with an answer, and then come on back. All right, hopefully you pause the video. The first thing you ask yourself when you do negative 8 times 3, what rule will I use? So you need to know, okay, it's multiplication. Signs are different, so we know the answer will be negative. So 8 times 3 is 24. A negative times a positive is a negative. So that's going to be a negative 24. Here's the next example to try. Negative 2 times negative 6. Pause the video, try it out, come on back. First you say, what's the rule? Okay, so you determine, oh, they're being multiplied. We have a negative times a negative. If you have the same sign when you're multiplying, the answer will be positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. So you say, okay, 2 times 6 is 12. Negative times a negative is a positive. This answer is positive 12. Now I'd like you to try one with three factors. Negative 3 times 6 times negative 1. Again, when there's more than two factors, you just work with the first two and then you move on. Pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, so again, you just take two at a time. So we do negative 3 times 6. You ask yourself, what's the rule? Okay, we're multiplying negative 3 times 6. Multiplication, when the signs are different, the answer will be negative. A negative times a positive is a negative. 6 times 3 is 18. So that's a negative 18 still times 1. Again, what's the rule? Well, we're multiplying. So when we're multiplying and the signs are different, negative times a positive, the answer will be negative. Different signs, the answer is negative when we multiply. So our answer is negative 18. 18 times 1 is 18. A negative times a positive is a negative. Next example. Now we're going to try some division problems. 6 divided by negative 3. So the first thing you ask yourself, okay, what's the rule? Well, when I'm dividing, the rule is signs are different. The answer is negative. So 6 divided by negative 3. A positive divided by a negative will be a negative. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that answer is a negative 2. Try the next one. Keep in mind when you're working with the next one, you always want to start within parentheses first. So you're going to do 20 divided by negative 5. Then you'll negate that answer. So take a minute, pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, hopefully you pause the video. Working within parentheses, what's the rule? Well, I'm dividing. When I divide a positive 20 divided by a negative 5, those signs are different. Positive 20 divided by negative 5 within those parentheses. Signs are different. My answer will be negative within the parentheses. So within the parentheses, I have a negative 4, but I still am trailing that negative on the outside. What's the opposite of a negative? What's the rule? The opposite of a negative, same signs, the answer will be positive. The opposite of a negative, those are same signs, the answer is going to be positive when we multiply. 
Opposite of a negative is a positive. So your final answer is positive 4. Last one for you to try on this slide. First thing you're going to do is ask yourself, what's the rule? Well, it's division. And we know the signs are the same, so the answer will be positive. Negative 40 divided by a negative 5. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So hopefully you got those right. Those are very similar to what we worked on in class today. Let's end tonight with a word problem. At midnight, the temperature is 8 degrees Celsius. If the temperature rises 4 degrees Celsius per hour, what's the temperature at 6 a.m.? So go ahead and take a minute, try this problem, and then come on back and check my solution. How long is it from midnight till 6 a.m.? Well, let's see. Midnight till 1, till 2, till 3, till 4, till 5, till 6. Oh, that's 6 hours. So we have 6 hours there. What does the temperature rise per hour? The temperature rises 4 degrees per hour. So what will you want to do with that 6 and 4? In the first hour it rises 4 degrees, in the next hour it rises 4 degrees. So we're talking about multiplication. 6 times 4 is 24. So it rose 24 degrees over those 6 hours. At midnight, the temperature was 8 degrees Celsius. So we're going to need to add that 24 degrees it rose to our original temperature of 8 degrees Celsius. So by 6 a.m., it's 32 degrees Celsius. Hopefully that worked out okay for you. Try to have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.